It's not that the sock is offensive, it's that the design of it is done by people with offensive backgrounds. So when you do an offense, when you attack a client, there's a, there's a process to it. You do preliminary intelligence, you collect data, you look for weaknesses. It takes two to three weeks minimum just to decide which attack vector you want to choose. You do an analysis of the external facing applications, what you can find out about social engineering. You got to keep in mind that an attack doesn't look at all <clears throat> the same from the attacker's eyes as the defender's eyes. When you're the defender, you're looking at all your security systems and saying, can you do this? Can you pass this? When you're an attacker, it's black box. I have no idea what's going on in the other side. I'll give you a, a statistic that most people find odd, but flat down 90% of the hacks in the world, the attacker has no idea who is attacking or who he hacked until he's way, way, way deep in the attack. It's a statistic that most people would say, really? Yes. Attackers attack technology. They don't attack businesses. They look for a weakness, a vulnerability that they can exploit, and they exploit it. Who happens to be the poor guy at the end of that machine that he exploited? Mostly they don't know. They'll find out during, and then they'll decide if it's worth continuing or moving on. But they'll exploit technology. There's always that 10%, maybe it's five, I'm not, but there's always that high-end percent that's a targeted attack. That somebody, for whatever reason, decided he wants to target your organization. That's a whole different level of attack. Then he will look for vulnerabilities on this specific area. But people often ask, I don't think that I would, who would want to attack me? It's an irrelevant question in our world today. You are not the one getting attacked. Your technology infrastructure is getting attacked, and it's a technology infrastructure. Yours is valid for attack just as much as the next guy next to you. And it doesn't matter if you're called Coca-Cola and you're called Manfred and Sons. It, it has absolutely no significance to the attacker. It, it will once he's in. If he realizes he's in Coca-Cola, he'll probably stay in a lot longer. But potentially being a victim, you're as much as a potential victim as anyone else just by existing on the online or in the internet. So understanding that offensive point of view, how that works, what attackers look for, and then what they do once they start an attack, what are the preliminary actions that start happening. It's, it's just understanding that if certain incidents are happening in your network, then you're being scanned or you're being attacked. And then just understanding that if you don't look at certain places, then you'll never know if somebody resides in your network after you finished, thought you were done, cleaned, and moved on, he's still in. So bringing that perspective, not just bringing it from what you used to do 10 years ago, living in that world, existing there, bringing that perspective when you design security, that's the unique offensive point of view I was talking about.